In this video, you will learn about exhaustive feature selection. In an exhaustive feature selection, the best of subset of features is selected over all possible feature subset by optimizing a specific performance metric for a certain machine learning algorithm. For example, if we are using a logistic regression algorithm and the data set consists of four features, the algorithm will evaluate all 15 feature combinations of this four subset and then it will give us the best results in the subset which it will get. Let us understand this first before we start coding. Suppose we have a data frame where we have four features and a target variable. So we have this age, gender, height and weight and this is a target variable. Based on this independent variables, it will try to fit this model where it will try to predict the target variable and it will make different combinations using the exhaustive feature selection. So using this four independent variable, it will create 15 combinations with respect to the target variable and it will create 15 models. So in our first four combinations, so our first combination will be age. So it will just pick this age variable and it will try to predict the value of target variable. Then it will just pick gender and target variable height and target variable weight and target variable. So in this four combination, what it is doing is it is just picking one independent variable at a time and predicting the value of the target variable. So first it will do for each second. It will do with gender third. It will do with height fourth. It will do with weight and then we will have some new combinations. So earlier we had only one independent variable. Now it will take combination of two. So let's say it will be age plus gender and then it will try to predict the value of target variable age plus height, age plus weight, gender plus height, gender plus weight, height plus weight. So here we have combinations of two different variables or two independent variables, which is trying to predict the target variable. So these are total six combination earlier. We had four, six plus four, 10. And now in the next iteration, it will take combination of three independent variables. So we will have H plus gender plus height, and it will try to predict the value of the target variable. Similarly, it will take gender plus height plus weight, height plus weight plus age, weight plus age plus gender. So here we have this four combination. So four plus 10 plus four is 14. And in the last iteration, it will take all this independent variable that is age plus gender plus height plus weight and it will try to predict the value of the target variable and in the end it will see which combination is giving us the best accuracy and based on that it will select the final subset of features. I hope you got the overall idea how this exhaustive feature selection works. So it starts by taking this one independent variable at a time, then it will take combination of two, then three, then in the last it will take all the four independent variables and try to predict the value of the target variable. Now let us go to the Jupyter notebook and there we can see practically how it works. This is known as greedy algorithm because it evaluates all possible feature combinations. And you have to remember one thing that it is quite computationally expensive. And if the feature space is big, it's not recommended. That is this algorithm takes a lot of time to complete. And if you have hundreds and thousands of features, then this algorithm is not recommended. That is you should not use uh, this algorithm because it will take many days to complete or may not even complete and break down. So now let's import pandas as PD. And I will import sequencer feature from ML extend. I will write from ML extend dot feature selection import sequential features selection selector. So we will use this class to perform the exhaustive search feature selection technique. So we need to import this class from this ML extend feature selection and let us execute our code. Now I'm going to make one variable df and in this I will save my CSV file. I will call pd dot read underscore CSV. Inside this, I will pass my CSV file name, which is sample data dot CSV. Now let us look at the head of our data set. So we have this top five rows of our data frame. We have columns age, gender, height, 
and weight and we have this target variable so we are trying to predict the value of this target variable based on this independent variable and we are going to use the technique of exhaustive features selection and before that let us also check if there are any missing values because if you have any missing values then the sklearn will not work you need to either treat the missing values or you have to remove it so let's check it i will write df dot is null dot sum and here in the output you will see we are getting zero everywhere that means we don't have any missing values here and we can also check the shape of our data frame i will write df dot shape so we have 178 rows and five columns now we are going to split the data set into x and y in x we will have we will have all the independent variables that is we will have age gender height and weight and in y we will just have this target variables let's split it i will write here x then i will call the data frame df dot iloc inside this i want to say i want to get all rows so i will type here colon and i want to get columns starting with the index number zero up to index number four and in y i will write df dot iloc and this time i want all the rows and the column i want is the last one the target variable and to get the last column we just have to type the index number minus one here and let us execute our code now i will check x dot head so we have all the independent variables here age gender height and weight now we are going to split this data frame into x train x test y train and y train y test for that first we will import the library from sklearn dot model selection import train test split now i'm going to make x train x test y train and y test then i will call this function train test split inside this i will pass my x and y i will also pass the parameter test size which is going to be 0 0.3 or 30 percent the next parameter is random state and this is going to be any random number let's say one if you want your result to be same as mine then you also have to use this random state as one now let us execute our code. So we have split this into x train, x test, y train and y test. Now we are going to perform this exhaustive feature selection. So I'll make one uh, and before that, uh, before this we also have to call the algorithm whatever algorithm we are going to fit on this model. So we are going to use the random forest classifier. So I will import that from sklearn.ensemble import random forest classifier and we will also import exhaustive feature selection from this uh, ml extend so i will write here from ml extend dot feature selection import exhaustive feature selector now i'm going to make an object of this class exhaustive feature selection i will write here efs and then i will call this class exhaustive feature selector and inside this i will call this random forest classifier class because i want to fit the model using this algorithm random forest classifier so i will call this random forest classifier inside this i will pass one parameter n jobs and this is going to be minus one minus one means if you have cores in your pc and you want all and you want this algorithm to use all the available cores then you just have to type minus one or if you have if you want to just use one two or three or four just then you can just pass that number but i want this algorithm to use all the available cores so i am typing here minus one here and now we will pass some other parameters required so the first parameter is minimum features and this i am going to take it as one so it means that the minimum number of features we want for model fitting so at least i want one feature and then the next parameter is max features so how many uh, maximum features you want to use for this model i want to use four because in this data set you will see that we have very few features only four one two three and four let's say if you have a data set where you have 100 of features so in that case you can pass let's say you want to fit it on 20 or 25 features so here you will write 
minimum feature size one and the maximum feature will be 20 or 25 but but because this is a very small data set and we have very less features so i'm taking all the features in this maximum features parameter the next parameter is scoring so this is uh, here we have to define on what matrix we want to select these features and we want to select this on accuracy we can also type different uh, matrix here like AOC, ROC and then we will also do the cross validation so CV stands for cross validation we want to do it twice so I will write here too you can put 5, 10 anything but it will take some time because you are doing this cross validation 5 or 10 times and the last parameter is n jobs and this is going to be minus one and now the important thing is we will fit this exhaustive feature selector on our train and test data sets uh, on our train data sets i will write here dot fit x train and then y train now i'm going to run this code now this will start fitting at different subset it will create different sub subset and it will start fitting it will take few minutes because this is an exhaustive feature selector and it creates and it uh, creates model on different subsets so it has finished because we have the data size is small and the number of features are also so small so it has finished and now we are going to check what are the best features in this model for this for that I will call this EFS and from this I will call the method best underscore feature names so in the output you will see so we have this total four features age gender height and weight now this exhaustive feature selector tells me that the best feature for fitting this model is age and weight so now you can see that out of four features we have found that these two features are important so we can uh, just ignore the other two features the other two feature would be height and gender we don't need it because this feature selector says that these two are the best feature for this model and then we can also check the best score available on this feature so I will write here EFS dot best score so you will see we got the accuracy of 75% so if you use these two features and fit your model using the random forest classifier you will get an accuracy of 75% since this is a very small data set we are getting accuracy of 75% if you have a big data set where you have more number of training examples and some more important features your accuracy will improve and now we can convert this into pandas data frame I will write here first I will import so we already have imported pandas I will write here pd dot data frame dot from dictionary and then efs dot get metric dictionary and then we will transpose this and now you will see here so when we call this exhaustive feature selector how this exhaustive selector uh, feature selector has created subset and how it selected these two features we will come to know from this uh, data frame here so you will see here so in the first iteration it considered only the uh, feature at this index number zero which is the first feature and the first feature is age and when it took age and fit the model using random forest classifier the accuracy it got was 62 percent you can see here the feature name is age the index so this is the index number of the feature name and the actual feature name is here so when it fitted the model using age we got the accuracy of 60 percent when it used gender the accuracy dropped we, we got only 40 percent as you remember i told you in the slide that how it will start building the model it will first pick all this variable one by one just age gender weight height then it will make combination of age and then gender so all these things are here what we saw in the slide so with just height it got 43 percent with just weight it got 47 percent and you will see here out of all these four age is the uh, most uh, useful or significant feature for this model because when we use just age variable we got an accuracy of 62 percent which is quite high as compared to these accuracy gender height and weight then in the next situation it picked combination of two so we have this age and gender where it got 51 percent accuracy age and height <clears throat> 68 percent accuracy sorry 
uh, age and weight 75 percent then gender and height 49 percent gender and weight 48 percent height and weight 63 percent so here you will see with the combination of age and weight we got the highest accuracy which is 75 percent then it used three variables so here age gender height 66 percent accuracy age gender weight 70 percent accuracy age height uh, weight 75 percent accuracy gender height weights 58 percent accuracy and then it used combination of all these four and it got accuracy of 75 percent so now you will see using all these four variables we got accuracy of 75 percent and just using the combination of age and weight we got the same accuracy 75 percent so it is better to use only these two features instead of using all the four features and get the same accuracy so this is how the exhaustive feature selector work and it will also tell you which feature is giving uh, which uh, what what percentage of accuracy and what are the combinations of those features so you can always use this feature uh, selection technique to select the best features from your model and then you can go ahead and fit the model this is about the exhaustive features uh, selector technique in python i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching